go Pokes. T-O-L. E-D-O. <laughs> Visitors from afar, Toledo fans Doug and Mary King and Wyoming fan Wendy Lau can agree on one thing, they're in Tucson for a good time. For new people, we feel very comfortable here. You guys are having a big New Year's Eve party downtown, so when we saw that, like, why go home? We're creating sales tax, which pays for our police officers, our fire department. We're creating bed taxes, which pays for further investment in tourism and tourism marketing at a time when most communities are really slow. Ray Flores owns the Monica across the street from where the Taco Bell New Year's Eve downtown bull bash will be, with a taco touchdown at midnight and fireworks launched from the top of the building. I think downtown will be great. Yeah, we've got a good, good setup down here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have more control over how many people are entering and how people are getting into the space. We've got plenty of security at the event. We have private security and TPD involved. So it's going to be a great event. We want to make sure everybody's safe and enjoying the time downtown. The Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl executive director Kim Adair expects up to 15,000 people at the event downtown where Tucson police will have its normal deployment. They also have the option of scheduling the additional resource of four off-duty officers that the Rio Nuevo district funds as part of the mission to create a more inviting and dynamic downtown. Tucson police can also call additional officers from elsewhere in the city if necessary, but the department says the normally scheduled deployment has been able to handle the New Year's crowd in the past. We absolutely get to highlight our beautiful downtown area, which has been completely revitalized through Rio Nuevo's hard work. That's something that's very exciting to us. We want the whole world to see that. Plenty are already soaking it in. It's beautiful. It's wonderful.